What's up guys, it's Davis here and today I'm bringing you a quick little lesson on some pentatonic patterns that you can use to break out of the standard box shapes that we're mostly all familiar with. Now let's get into it. Many of you will already be familiar with the minor pentatonic box pattern, but if not, here's how it goes. We're on the 10 on the E to 13, 10 on the A to 12, 10 on the D to 12, 10 on the G to 12, 10 on the B to 13, and 10 on the E to 13, and back down again. Now in the next two exercises, those are the exact same notes I'm going to be using. There's going to be no extra notes. They're just going to be played in different positions with different techniques to get different sound and to break you out of that little small pattern. Both of the patterns that I'm going to be showing you today use the exact same notes that we had in our minor pentatonic box pattern. They're just going to be spread a little bit further up the neck and I'll help you get out of that little zone. And it'll also sound a little bit different because we're going to be using different techniques to execute it. All right. So the first one is going to use some wide stresses and some economy picking. So we're going to start off same position, 10 to hammer on the 13 of the low E. On the A, we're going to go from 10, hammer on to 12, hammer on to 15. So they both start with downstrokes. Then you're going to go two downstrokes. We're going to go from the 12 of the D string to the 10 of the G string. Now it's not two individual downstrokes. It's one fluid motion that plays through with the right hand. So slowly to that point. Okay, from there, we're gonna hammer onto the 12, so we're on the G string, hammer onto the 12 and then the 14. Then we're gonna go 13, on the B to 10 of the E, and that's gonna be the same double downstroke in one fluid motion. From there, we're gonna hammer on to 13 and hammer on to 15. And then we're gonna come back down that exact same pattern again. But where we had double downstrokes before, we're gonna have double upstrokes. So it's the same thing, it's not two individual strokes, it's one fluid motion. Okay, so we're going to play up and down that real slow. Two, three, four. So this second exercise used the exact same notes again. We're just going to use some tapping, string skipping, hammering from nowhere, and some tap slide at the top to play the exact same notes as the previous two examples. So we're going to start off on the 10th fret again of the low E. And you can start that with a hammer out of nowhere, or you can use your tapping finger to pluck the string to go hammer onto 13, hammer to 15, tap 17. Second pattern goes to the E string, hammer out of nowhere, hammer to 12, hammer to 15, tap 17. The next one you skip to the B string, hammer out of nowhere to 10, hammer to 13, Hammer to 15, tap 18, hold that pressure down, slide to 20, back down to 18, and pull off to the 15, and pull off again, and pull off again. So slowly that goes. And then you continue descending the way you came. So 17, 15, 12, 10, 10 17, 15, 13, 10. So we're gonna play that up and down real slow. Two, three, four. So there you have it. I hope that was clear enough for you. I'm without a computer at the moment, so I can't make any transcription to put tabs up on screen, but as soon as I'm back up and running with that, I'll put up transcription of this lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.